How to cook a sweet and tangy slow cooker brisket. Let's get into it. Sprinkle salt and pepper evenly on a, all sides on a four and a half pound beef brisket. Coat a skillet or a wok with oil. Swirl it around to make sure it gets everywhere and make it nice and hot. When your skillet is nice and hot, start carefully browning your brisket on all sides. It should take no more than five minutes. You're not cooking it all the way through, you're just browning it on all the sides. When it's browned on all sides, carefully remove it from the hot pan into a plate. And like I said, we're not cooking it all the way through, so it will still be pink a little bit. Carefully rub your brisket with some garlic powder and paprika. Now set your brisket aside until we're ready to use it. Now it's time to prep our carrots. If you are going to use celery, only use three whole carrots, but I'm not going to use celery, so I'm going to use probably about six carrots. You want to rinse and wash these well. And now we're gonna we're gonna peel these. Peel all your carrots. When you're done peeling your carrots, you're also going to cut the ends off. And when that's done, we're gonna cut our carrots into thirds. We're also gonna do the same with our celery. Cut your celery into thirds, and then you're gonna put these to the side until we're ready to use them. Next, we're gonna cut our onions in vertical slices, so that just means from end to end. We wanna cut them in half, then flip it over, start cutting them into thin slices. You can cut them in half if it's easier, and then cut them into slices, and then separate them like this. Return your skillet to a medium heat and add all of your onions. You wanna occasionally stir them, and cover them and cook for about 10 minutes. Next, we are going to roughly chop our garlic. You don't have to mince it. It should be a little bit bigger than minced, but not too thick. Add it to your onions. You wanna stir everything together and cook it for about three to five more minutes until everything is golden and tender. And then when everything's done, put it to the side until we're ready to use it. Add one cup of unsalted beef stock to your now empty skillet. Add one 15 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I got the wrong size by mistake. Add a little bit of salt. Two tablespoons of cider vinegar. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. And then whisk it all until everything is nice and smooth and well mixed together. And then set it aside until it cools down and we're ready to use it. Spray a six quart slow cooker with cam spray or grease it with oil, whatever you got. Carefully arrange all of your carrots and celery slices, if you're using celery, in the bottom of the slow cooker. Make sure it's all in one nice even layer as much as possible. Carefully put your beef brisket on top of your car carrots and celery, fats cap up. Take your cooled down onions and garlic mixture and carefully arrange it on top of the brisket in one nice even layer. Carefully pour your tomato beef broth mixture around the beef brisket, not on top of it. If some of the sauce mixture gets on the brisket, that's totally fine. Just do your best to evenly distribute it to the sides as much as possible. Cover. Let it cook for seven hours on low. After seven hours, turn your machine off. Unplug your machine. And then let the brisket sit in the machine for one hour. Don't take it out, don't touch it. Carefully remove the brisket from the slow cooker and putting it onto a cutting board. Also remove the fat cap as much as possible. Move the onions and garlic to the side so you can still enjoy that. And start cutting your brisket into thin slices. I use a pastry bowl scraper to shield my hands because the brisket will be very hot. And cut it into thin slices. 
Then take a slotted spoon and start to strain out your carrots. If you want to add some of the broth into your carrots, that's totally fine. Feel free to add some of the broth as well onto your meat. And then when you're ready, serve and enjoy.